The Zeller's Pharmacy in Lloydminster closes up shop in exactly one week, but patients won't have to go too far to fill their prescriptions. All prescription files will be transferred to the Superstore Pharmacy, effective May 9th. Be seamless and smooth, so they will not feel a difference. So the transfer will be very nice and smooth for them. Uh, we will try our best to provide um, like health care, medical care, in addition to, of course, customer satisfaction. The Zeller's Pharmacy will remain open for regular business hours until the end of the day on May 8th. The Border City is making the switch to blue bag recycling. Soon, every Lloydminster homeowner will see a recycling kit on their door handle to help with the transition. It's part of Pitch In Week, but the manpower behind the initiative might not be who do you expect. Elise Cox has more. These grade 7 students are hard at work putting together 2,500 recycling starter kits. We're making kits to swap out all the blue boxes in Lloydminster with blue bags so that it reduces the human impact on the earth. And they contain everything someone needs to switch over. And we're putting pamphlets about the bags and how are you supposed to use them and another group of bags that um, you put out on the street as well and a, a little sticker um, that you put on your blue box if you want them to recycle your blue box. The city needs about 7,200 starter kits delivered around the city and ES Laird is contributing a significant amount. ES Laird is uh, contributing greatly to this initiative as well as many other schools. Um, ES Laird is doing about a third of the total volume of, of uh, starter kit assembly. And these kits are helping teach the students about recycling and blue bag advantages. It'll help you when you put your recycling in the blue box and you get a big wind, it could blow your papers out. But this could be better because you'll have them all in bags and it's probably easier for the garbage men just to pick them up and throw them in instead of having to dump it and bring it back. In under an hour, the students had already completed about 1,200 kits. Well, there's definitely a lot of energy in the room. The kids are excited. Uh, there's a couple little competitions going on over there about who was uh, doing it faster and, and getting more done. So, yeah, it's really exciting to see the community and the kids getting involved. It's cool to help out your city and the environment to keep it clean and for our next generation so they're nice and healthy and so the city of Lloydminster doesn't get too dirty. Door-to-door -door delivery begins in the next week. If you don't receive a kit by May 18th, contact Public Works. Elise Cox, New Cap News. The first ever downtown dog walk will take place next week in the border city. Jennifer and Brittany give us all the details on this week's pet project. Hi everyone, I'm Brittany here with Jennifer from the Lloydminster and District SPCA and Slate. Slate is five years old and has all of his vaccines except for his rabies vaccination. He's neutered, microchipped and ready to go. He's extremely social as well. He gets along with any cat that we've introduced him to so far. He's currently living in our cat condo and he also gets along pretty well with dogs. We introduced him to Jitterbug and the two of them actually really had a good respect for each other. Jitterbug is a five month old Coley Cross. She needs to be spayed still. And what about her vaccinations? Uh, she has had her first vaccine, but she does need a booster in about a month and will need her rabies as well. She is a bundle of energy. It's kind of the reason why we named her Jitterbug. She wants to go, go, go. Um, but we also kind of named her Lovebug because she just loves people. She would love to have a day out running um, and then to come home and sleep up on the couch or on the bed with some owners um, who do need to be aware that she is a puppy still. So she will need training, um, obedience, and a lot of patience. So it's a good time of year for a walk and I heard you guys are having your first downtown dog walks next week. We are, we're really excited about it. We've partnered with In Motion for our May is In Motion month. We encourage everybody to come down to City Hall next Tuesday, May 8th at 12, 10 p.m. Come on a big, long two kilometer walk uh, to get out and get active. A lot of SPCA dogs up for adoption will be on the walk as well. And of course we encourage people and their pets to come out. Will Jitterbug be at the walk next week? She will be at the walk as long as she hasn't been adopted yet. For anybody that is interested in adopting Jitterbug or Slate, best thing to do is come by the SPCA or visit our website. And join us next week where we will introduce you to more adoptable animals.
The Pet Project is sponsored by Quick Pick Waste Disposal. Locally owned and operated and serving urban, rural, and industrial customers in Lloydminster and region.